Poets, what's happening? On a whim, I wanted to make a video real quick about the nature of strength and vulnerability. Because, you know, there's this pressure on me. I uh, would like to be self-sufficient, a mountain, immovable, and you can't hurt me. Especially those who have dealt with hurt in the past. You've had your heart broken, or you've been betrayed, something like that. Or you just like the idea of being self-sufficient and invulnerable. Kind of that John Wayne persona, where nothing can affect you, you don't cry, you don't feel any type of pain. This hollow notion of strength that comes with that, you know, kind of like a, a stoic robot. And I just wanted to caution people against doing that. That doesn't make a super soldier. It, it, that doesn't make a strong individual. It gives you the feeling of strength initially, but really as you kind of close up the walls on your heart so nothing can get to it, those walls become a coffin and you die a slow, joyless death. In internally, I don't mean physically you keel over. I'm just saying uh, the, the passion of life, the joy that comes uh, through loving other people and being loved in return, that's a really big deal. That's the fuel that a soldier runs on or, or a cop, somebody who's in the warrior uh, part of life. You know, we're warrior poets, and so we're always kind of thinking about protecting life and those that we care about. Uh, you know, that, that that's a hollow type uh, existence to be kind of cut off from other people as well. Uh, so I think uh, to be in, there's this interesting paradox that if, if you love others, you have great vulnerability, but that loving vulnerability also is the thing that gives wind to your sails so that you can propel forward. It's, it's fire in your veins allowing you to sacrifice and to live uh, passionately, courageously, on purpose. And so you kind of don't have a choice. You can't go back. So ironically, love which makes us seemingly vulnerable is also making us in other ways invulnerable. Uh, love which makes us weak actually makes us strong, that we can go through all the different terrible dark seasons of life that we would be able to uh, do so not only surviving but also thriving. Uh, depending on your theological slant, uh, love would make us immortal. Love would cast out all fear. Uh, all you need is love. All you need is love. <laughs> but seriously, I'm <laughs> being serious on this. And I think it's an important li lesson to, uh, uh, that we can't afford to miss in the midst of trying to become so macho and so strong in the eyes of the world that we miss out on the stuff that's right in front of us. Woe be to us if we would uh, fail our uh, family and our friends and those people around us that count on us that want access to our lives and don't be so weak as to not to deny them that, right? Guys, train hard, train smart. Hope you've enjoyed this little rant and hopefully you've been, uh, gained something from it that was edifying. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and tell me below in the description or uh, below in the comments where you're at on your journey and how you guys are doing and uh, a little bit about your story. So uh, see you next time, guys.